over a year they really gone down they almost closed down the school but now the children are coming up so now what i like about them is they integrate and they integrate the parents children teachers and the schools very well all societies are involved to raise the children and also management and leadership of the school is wonderful so all these things really boil down uh, to me that uh, at the end uh, a village is required to raise a child and of course i cannot forget the young leadership here our king keeps on insisting that to be a strong nation we need a strong uh, youth and uh, in order to make a strong youth we need a strong and quality education uh, i see the education for sustainable development in true essence is the youth Uh, myself included, the younger generation can take what was created before from the older generations and kind of organize it within ourselves, um, add our own flares, add the kind of the, the modern um, taste to it and we can kind of create our own lifestyles here in Olmudi, in this small town of Olmudi. Most important thing to sustain anything Number one, I learned is the local leaders, leadership. Number two, how the young leaders really participate in reviving anything else. In other words, young leadership is also equally important. Number third, of course, it goes without saying that women must provide a basic facilities like roads, electricity and also now these days water and of course uh, internet fourth thing business communities participation in community development what i learned here was that we don't need to keep building new and new things is that being able to maintain the tradition and the lifestyle here is what happiness is we feel a lot of happiness for maintaining our history and our traditions here, but then we do include it in our daily lives, and I think that that's what everybody feels uh, very accomplished, and that's why they feel fulfilled here. And so that's what we're doing, and that's what we hope to continue doing into the future, into the next generation, and that's what I feel as though it's going to create the new meaning of what happiness is, and this is why Omori is a really good example of that new value and that new meaning of happiness um, for not just simply Japan, but I think also for the whole entire world. Uh, not only me, all, all of us thought that this village uh, were left out after extracting, extracting all the silvers, but then after arriving here, meeting all the people, wonderful uh, people, wonderful communities, I learned that I'm going, I'm not only looking at this village as an abundant silver mine, but I see gold and diamond mine that we have created here in Omari.